Hi, I'm Simon Jones from HitFilm.com and today I'm going to give you the first proper look at 3D models being used inside HitFilm 2 Ultimate. We've already shown you various videos and images rendered out of the software, but this is the first time we've really shown models being used in the interface. So here we have HitFilm 2 Ultimate. In the import menu you'll see a couple of new options. I'll pick 3D model and then select this file. Once the model has loaded up it appears in this preview window. You can spin around it to see what it looks like. On the right you can see a selection of groups. These define the model's separate parts. Selecting any of these will enable you to animate them separately once you add your model to the timeline. This is how he animated the rotor on the helicopter. This UFO model has a whole bunch of groups enabling you to customise and animate it however you want. The materials section gives you control over textures and appearance. We support multiple materials, but this particular model only has one. So first up, I'm going to import a couple of textures, as this model doesn't have them automatically linked. We'll go for a diffuse map, which gives the material its basic colouring, then add a specular map to give some more detail in the highlights. The spaceship is looking a little too shiny at the moment, so I'm going to go into its diffuse colour property and dial it down a little. That's a lot better, it's not quite so bright now. You can see the shininess on the surface as I move the UFO around. The strength of the shine can be adjusted depending on the type of surface you're going for. The reflectivity settings are used in conjunction with environment maps. For example, if I ramp up the specular reflectivity, you can see the UFO takes on a chrome-like reflective appearance. Right, so once I'm happy with all the settings, I'll hit create, and the model is now available in the media panel, just like any other video or image. OK, so let's create a new composite shot and drag our 3D model onto the timeline. And there it is, a nice 3D model working natively inside HitFilm 2. It doesn't look particularly dramatic right now though, because it doesn't have any lighting. First up, I'll just turn off the perspective grid so that we have a better view. If we go into the UFO's controls, you'll see there's a material group. So first up, I'm going to turn on Ambient Occlusion. This provides additional shading, which really helps to enhance the impression of depth and detail. The main thing, though, is to add a proper 3D light. OK, that's starting to look pretty cool. I'm going to set this light to be a directional light. You can see as I move the light, the performance is really good, with everything working in real time on a standard consumer graphics card. I'm now going to turn on shadow casting for this light, and go into the UFO model and do the same. As you can see, 3D models in HitFilm cast shadows and can also self-shadow. This makes a really massive difference to the realism and quality of the renders you get. If I go into the models section here, I can duplicate the model. So if you want to recreate the opening sequence of Mars attacks, we've got you covered. Models don't just self-shadow. You can see here that they're also casting shadows on each other. So the cool thing is that performance is still really, really good. I'm going to add another light, just because I can. This one I'll set to be blue, and I'll turn on cast shadows again. Even with multiple lights casting multiple shadows from multiple models, the performance in HitFilm 2 is still very, very fast. Things get really cool when you start combining 3D models with HitFilm's other effects and features. Here, for example, I've used the particle simulator to create a 3D star field, and then a range of light effects to create the UFO's running lights and the sun glare. This was just a very quick intro to HitFilm 2 Ultimate's 3D capabilities. We will of course be putting out lots of tutorials once the software is released at the start of November. If you'd like to know more about HitFilm 2, head over to the hitfilm.com blog. There's not long to wait until you can have a go at this stuff yourself. Thank you for watching and we shall see you next time.